hello and welcome. Are Space Eater ad claims true? The ads are starting to pop up all over online claiming that the Space Eaters can heat a room in three minutes for pennies. Sounds good. Before we get going, I spent 50 years in marketing, advertising, promotion, and sales. I designed thousands of advertising campaigns. I had to become very familiar with countless products and services. In the process of designing and setting up these campaigns, I had to ask a lot of questions. So we'll take this for an example. Heating a room in three minutes for pennies. How many pennies? Now with the product and the information about the product, we have everything we need to figure this out. Every hour the space heater runs, it uses 1,200 watts of electricity. That's 1.2 kilowatts per hour. That's pretty much the same as what this hairdryer uses. The difference is the hairdryer is only on for a few minutes while you're drying your hair. The space heater will probably be on a lot longer. How many pennies does the space heater use per hour? Let's figure it out. In my area, the rate per kilowatt hour, that's 1,000 watts, is about 30 pennies. The space heater uses 1.2 kilowatts. So each hour the space heater runs, it uses 30 cents times 1.2 kilowatts, equaling 36 pennies worth of electricity. If I ran the heater for eight hours, it would use 288 pennies worth of electricity. If I did that every day in cold weather months, it would use 8,640 pennies, or $86.40 worth of electricity. That's more electricity than I use per month for everything else in my household. Just pennies, though. Pennies. Another question might be, what do I use for the other 16 hours to heat the house? Now, this isn't complicated. You don't need to have a degree in electrical engineering or physics to ask questions. I just did what you can do. Ask the questions to get the information to make the informed buying decisions I need to make. Here's another question. Do you know how many things you have plugged in right now that are using power? How much power? How many pennies? But that's a subject for another video. We're all looking at the price of things these days. Energy costs is one of the key things we're looking at. So to answer the question, are those space heater ad claims true? Well, the answer to that is sort of. You're getting what you need to crunch the numbers and become informed for yourself. But until you do, you won't have the information that tells you whether something like this is worthwhile for you or not. It's not my job to decide what's good for you. That's your job. My job is to use my experience, my knowledge of knowing how you're marketed to, to show you what I do to become informed about purchases and things I need to make decisions about. So what say you? If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you think it would help somebody else, share it with them. If you'd like to get more videos like this, then subscribe and ring the bell and you'll be notified when new content gets posted. As always, thanks for watching this video and comment as you see fit. Till the next video, see you later.